Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I make curry goat in the slow cooker. I have my goat over here in the sink in some water, lime, and vinegar. I have it soaking for about 30 minutes now. Um, These are gonna be the seasonings for today. Yes, you're gonna see me repeat my seasonings a lot. These are my staples. Being a chef, I've been through, I've used a lot of different seasonings and i can tell you these are the ones that's gonna make your food taste really good also bear in mind when you're buying seasonings you want to lean more towards the ones that have herbs in them stay away from the ones that have msg in them the one that have a lot of salt in them that have words that you can't pronounce in them you want to get the seasoning that are more on the natural side i'm telling you that's gonna make a big difference in the way your food comes out when you cook so over here we have the good stuff we have the fresh herbs the fresh ingredients we have old pimento garlic diced up onion diced up um we have thyme in there and we have scallion in there i'm gonna have a video coming soon where i'm showing you how to dice um your onions dice your vegetables and stuff like that so i'm just gonna take my mutton out and i'm just gonna put it over here in my container just the heads up when you're buying mutton you want to make sure you get mutton that's lean you don't want your curry goat to be very fatty so when you go to the meat shop just ask them to give you leaner pieces of meat like you can tell you know they have a little fat for flavor but it's not over the top very fatty so yeah guys getting good meal it have to be very good ingredients fresh ingredients good stuff you're cooking because you can't get good food with bad ingredients you know what i'm saying so yes guys make sure you get your mutton very lean as possible so i'm gonna start off seasoning my meat i'm gonna put in allspice ground allspice in there roughly about two tablespoons I'm gonna put garlic powder. And the funny thing is, when you have natural ingredients, you don't have to feel bad going in there with quite a good amount. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, it's just gonna make the food taste good anyways. I'm gonna go in with some oregano. I'm also gonna go in there with some black pepper. some cumin some ground ginger complete seasoning all purpose seasoning some basil Focus, camera, focus. Um, some rosemary. And the staple for today, curry powder. And I know, yes, you see me put the curry powder on my mutton as I stated before. I will be making this in the slow cooker, so I will not be frying up my curry as we Jamaicans normally do for curry. I'm cooking this in the slow cooker, hence the reason why I am putting this onto the meat directly. So this is what it's looking like. I haven't mixed it up yet, so I'm going to add my oil directly to this, about four tablespoons. And I went ahead and add salt too. I'm just gonna mix this up, looking like all mixed together. So over yes. here, so over here we have Bella, the slow cooker. She's my favorite. Also, I have this turned on for about 30 minutes now, just so it can be hot enough for um, the go to go in. I have it on 7 hours and 25 minutes and I also have it on mode hot. So the L is for low and the H is for hot. 
and the W is for warm just to keep things warm like after you cook it so this is what she's looking like inside she is pretty hot right now I'm just gonna add my go I'm just to gonna pour this in pour it all in there then I'm going to mix this up I'm just gonna give it a little mix actually and then for the stuff that's left in the pot that I actually mixed everything in together I'm just gonna add about two cups of water to this and pour it right in the crock pot. So right now I'm just gonna pour the water in there. And guys, I can already smell it. I just love the smell of goat. Really, I really so love this it. This is what it's looking like. It's smelling pretty good. I'm just gonna cover this. And then I'm just gonna leave it for about an hour. So I'll be back and I'll show you what it's looking like. Whenever. Over an hour and this is what the mutton is looking like. It's bubbling up some. I'm just gonna stir this up and then I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook for another hour. So it's been another hour. I'm just coming in to check my slow cooker to see what's going on in here. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. It's getting softer for sure. And guys, this is something you can do like when you have stuff to do, if you have to go to work, you can just put it on and by the time you get home, it'll be ready. Or you can cook it overnight and um, by the time you wake up, it will be ready as well you can put it on low setting or high setting if you want it to cook faster but this is something i do like when i feel like you know i don't want to cook today or you know just so it can cook while i'm doing other stuff whether it be laundry or cleaning it's just quick easy and you know you don't have to attend to it as much as if as much as like when you're cooking it on the stove top so I'm just gonna cover this and let it cook for another hour and then I'll be back. So it's been over an hour and this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna mix it up. It's much softer for sure. It still need about two more hours though then that will be it so it's been a little over another hour this is what it's looking like i got a fork to show you how soft the meat got it's actually like falling off the bone it's still not as soft as i would want it so i'm just gonna let it go for another 30 minutes over here i got some fresh vegetables that i went ahead and chopped up to this i'm gonna add the carrots to the crock pot and the scotch bonnet as well Then I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm just gonna cover it and let it boil again for another 30 minutes. So we're back and this is what the meat is looking like. So, oh wait, that's definitely soft. So it's time for the good part. I'm just gonna transfer this over into a pot on the stove top. And then I'm gonna add my additional ingredients and let this um, cook down on the stove top. So I just transferred the meat to this pot on the stove top. I'm gonna turn on my fire, put it on high. I'm gonna add my additional ingredients to the pot. I'm 
going to go ahead and give this a nice star. And then I'm just gonna cover this and let it cook down until the gravy gets to the thickness that I want it to get to and until the potatoes are nice and soft. So we're back and the curry goat is finished. This is what it looks like. It's nice and soft. Potatoes are soft. And this is it guys. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Okay, so this is how I decided to pair the curry goat. I have broccoli and tomato. Balance meals over here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And from my kitchen to yours, enjoy! Enjoy!